Students, our next chapter today we are going to learn is knowing time. Knowing time. So, in the previous classes also we discussed about knowing time. So, so what is the time means? So, how to calculate minutes, seconds, hours in a clock and also how many days in a week, then how many so days in a month, how many days in a year, so then how many years a decade. So, all this we discuss in our previous classes. So, then also, so what we discussed in previous class, we also discussed how to add time, how to subtract time. So, that we discussed in our previous class. Okay. So, here again what we are going to discuss, what concepts we are going to learn. See here, so points to learn. So, these points, these concepts we are going to learn in this chapter. The first concept is addition and subtraction of time addition and subtraction of time, how to add and how to subtract time and also using a calendar, how to use calendar, how to use calendar. So, these two concepts we are going to learn in this chapter. So, knowing time, knowing time. So, two concepts we are going to discuss that is addition and subtraction of time. The second one is using a calendar, how to use calendar, how to see in a calendar. Okay? Now, so before that, so in review exercise, whatever we did in previous classes, that once we recapitulate. Okay, see here, the first question six arts. So do as directed. What he is asking. So according to that, so we do our solution. Six arts. This we should convert into minutes. So arts. Here six arts. Arts we should convert into minutes. In previous classes, we learn so how many minutes make. 1 hour. So, that is 60 minutes make 1 hour, 60 minutes make 1 hour. Then 6 hours how many minutes? So, that means we should multiply 60 with 6. Then you will get how many minutes are there in 6 hours. Okay? Now, see here in the solution 1 hour. In 1 hour how many minutes we have? 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes, 60 in 1 hour we have 6 minutes, then in 6 hours, 6 hours how many minutes we have? So, this is about unit, in unit 60 minutes are there and in 6 means more, unit is given and more he is asking means we should multiply 60 minutes with 6, now 6 6 is 36 and this 0 we should take as it is minutes. How to multiply? So, when 0 is there, so just to multiply, so number with number 6 into 6 36 and after that we take a 0. So, then 360 minutes in 6 hours, how many minutes we have? In 6 hours, we have 360 minutes. Okay? Now, in the second question, so 90 minutes in 90 minutes what he directed is directed convert into hours and minutes this we should convert into hours as well as in minutes so then how to convert in hours and minutes so 90 minutes 90 90 minutes so already we know that 1 hour 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes, 90 we should split into 60 and 30, 60 minutes plus 30 minutes, 60 minutes make 1 hour, 1, 60 minutes make 1 hour and 30 minutes, 30 minutes as it is. So, it means 90 minutes in minutes and hours how it is 90 minutes is equal to 1 hour and 30 minutes 1 hour 30 minutes okay now the next question so mehika makes a telephone call that last 1 hour 45 minutes so 1 hour 45 minutes how many how much time so she is there on the phone, so that is 1 hour 45 minutes. How many seconds she is on the phone? She is on the phone. 
so it is in hours and minutes first we should convert hours and minutes into minutes first then after that again the minutes we should convert into seconds then see how to convert 1 hour 45 minutes 1 hour means this is 1 hour 1 hour means 60 minutes 60 so 1 hour means 60 minutes and plus 45 minutes So, 60 plus 45, 105 minutes. So, 105 minutes. So, first hours and minutes we should convert into minutes. After converting into minutes, again we should convert into seconds. So, 105 multiply with 60. Why we should multiply with 60? Because so, 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds, 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds, then 105 minutes is equal to how many seconds means we should multiply with 60, then multiply 6 with 5, do not take this 0, 6 5 is a 30, 0 and 3 here, 6 0 is a 0, 0 plus 3, 3, 6 1 is a 6 and this 0 is left in multiplicand that 0 as it is this many second 6300 seconds okay 6300 seconds now see here so in the fourth question how many years are in decade five decades here he is asking in five decades five in five decades how many years are there so in in one decade we have 10 years it is given the clue is also given so one one decade means 10 years so in one decade how many years we have one decade is equal to 10 years 10 then five decades in five decades how many years we have that is so, 10 into 5, 10 5s are 50, 50 years, 50 years, in 5 decades, in 5 decades we have 50 years, in 1 decade 10 years, in 5 decades 50 years, ok. Now the students next concept, addition and subtraction of time, addition and subtraction of time. So, then how to add and how to subtract? So, when time is given. So, in the first example, add 3 hours 45 minutes, 2 hours 30 minutes. See here how to add. First, we should take here hours, here minutes. How many hours? Here we have 3 hours and 45 minutes. 3 hours 45 minutes and 2 hours. 30 minutes, 2 hours, 30 minutes, and then add both, ok, addition, 5 plus 0, 5, 5 plus 0, 5, from extreme right, from minutes, so extreme minutes, from extreme right digit is a minutes, so from minutes we should add, so 5 plus 0, 5, 4 plus 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 75, ok then after that 3 3 plus 2 3 4 5 5 hours 5 hours 75 minutes this is addition but here in the minutes we have more than 60 if it is more than 60 again we should convert so this into hours and minutes ok if in the minutes the sum is more than 60 then we should convert minutes and seconds here 75 minutes we are getting 75 minutes it is how can we take 75 minutes 60 minutes plus 15 minutes 60 minutes plus 15 minutes 60 plus 15 75 60 minutes means 1 hour and 15 minutes as it is 1 hour 
15 minutes. It means here 1 in hours place and 15 in 1 hour, 1 in hours place, 15 in minutes place. Okay, now here. So then what to do? So this minutes we should subtract, this hours we should add. Okay, in minutes we should subtract. 5 minus 5, 0. 7 minus 1, 7 minus 1 is 6. 5 minus 1 is 6. Okay, 5 minus 1 is 6. Okay. Here students, so when we take 1 hour here, we should take 60 here. 1 hour means 60 minutes, no? That 60 we should take here. Okay. So after taking 60, first how to take C here? First we should take this 5 hours 75 minutes. 75 minutes. This 75 minutes we convert into hours and minutes. 60 minutes and 15 minutes. 60 minutes means 1 hour and 15 minutes as it is. Then we should take 1 hour here. And 1 hour is 60 minutes we should subtract here. So then after that what we do? So here we should subtract in the minutes that is 5, 7 minus 6, 1. Here 5 minus 5 plus 1 is 6. It is totally 6 hours 15 minutes. 6 hours 15 minutes. Okay. This is the method to addition. First whatever is given suggest so we take and add. After that, after that. If you are getting 1 hour, so we should take 1 hour here and so minus 60 minutes here. Then subtract minutes and add hours. Then you will get your answer. Okay. Then after that. So Rajini spent 4 hours 56 minutes in her piano class. Piano class. So and 3 hours 26 minutes in her dance class. So, this much time she spent in dance and 4 hours 56 minutes in piano class. Then how much time did Rajini spend in both classes? Means both the classes how much time she spent he is asking. Means we should add, we should add here. Then here time spent in piano class. How much time she spent? Here we should take hours and here minutes. So 4 hours 56 minutes. So then time spent in dance class. Time spent in dance class that is 3 hours. 26 minutes this much time she spent in dance class okay total time spent in both the classes don't close this time spent in both the classes both the classes so that is addition add 6 plus 6, 12 and 1. 5 plus 1, 6. 6 plus 2, 7, 8. 82. 4 plus 3, 7. 7 hours, 82 minutes. 7 hours, 82 minutes. Now, so how to take this 82? First, we take 82 here in the rough column. So, if we convert into minutes, 60 plus 32. 60 plus 22. 60 means 1 hour. 1 hour, 22 minutes. Here we have 1 hour. So it means, so we should take 1 hour here and 1 hour is 60 minutes. That 60 we should take here. This 60 we should subtract, this 1 hour we should add. So now, 2 minus 0, 2. 8 minus 6, 2. Then 7 plus 1, 8. 8 hours, 22 minutes. This much time she spent in both the classes okay so just 82 we should convert into minutes and hours so here one hour we are getting one hour so it means we should take one hour so then minus 60 we should commonly we should take minus 60 so then in minutes we subtract and in hours we should add okay
Now students see here next example 3 Dolly's music class started at 6.30 p.m. So at what time the class started 6.30 p.m. and got over at 8.15 p.m. So, so when the class is completed at 8.15 p.m. How long was the music class conducted? How long was the music class conducted? He is asking. It means so at what time the class is over? From that time, so we should subtract when the class was started. Then you will get how much time? The duration of the class you will get. The duration of the class you will get. See here. So class completed at 8.15, so this is hours, this is about minutes, class started it, class started it, so 6 hours 30 minutes then, so duration of the class, duration of the class. duration of the class. So, what is the duration of the class? It means we should subtract here 15 minus 30. So, we cannot make minus 15 minus 30. So, this is a smaller smaller means 15 is smaller than 30 minutes. So, we should take 1 hour borrow from here. If you take 1 hour borrow from 8 hours if total in 8 hours, if you take 1 hour borrow, then 7 hours left, 7 hours left. If you take 1 hour borrow, so then you will get 1 hour means 60 minutes, 60 already here 15, 60 plus 15 you will get 75 here. How you will get? So, you are taking 1 hour borrow means 60 minutes, 1 hour means 60 minutes plus 15 minutes, already 15 minutes are there. So, total how many minutes we are getting? 75 minutes. So, this you will get 75 minutes. Now, you subtract 5 minus 0, 5, 7 minus 3, 4, then 7 minus 6, 1, 1 hour 45 minutes. Duration of the class is 1 hour 45 minutes. Okay? Just we take so when the class will complete that time we have to write we should write and when the class is started that time so we should take then after that subtract then you will get duration of the class. Here 15 minutes is smaller than the 30 minutes so we should take borrow 1 hour. If you take 1 hour borrow from 8 hours you will get 7 hours. If you take 1 hour means 1 hour means 60 minutes 60 minutes and this 15 minutes then you will get 75 minutes. Then after that subtract 75 minus 30, 45 7 minus 6 is 1. It means 1 hour 45 minutes. Okay. Now exercise 1, add each of the following duration of time. So here a duration of time is given so that we should add. The first is 6 hours 15 minutes, 3 hours 30 minutes. This we should add. First here we should take hours, hours and minutes. Say in first 6 hours and 15 minutes given and here 3 hours 30 minutes. Hours we should take in hours place and minutes we should write in minutes place. Then add ok. 5 plus 0 5. So, 1 plus 3 4. 6 plus 3 9. So, it is 45 minutes. In the minutes we have 45. It is less than 60. If it is less than 60, no need to convert nothing. Okay? So, just you take this is 9 hours, 45 minutes. If in the minutes we have less than 90, no need to convert hours and minutes. Okay? Now, here. Next, 7 hours, 35 minutes, 8 hours, 40 minutes. Then here first we take hours and here minutes. How many hours we have? 7 hours. 35 minutes, then 8 hours, 40 minutes, 8 hours, 40 minutes. Now, add 
5 plus 0 5, 3 plus 4 plus 3 7 and 7 plus 8 15, 15 hours 75 minutes here see here this is 75 minutes, 75 minutes is more than more than 60 minutes more than 60 minutes so we should convert 75 into hours and minutes 75 means 60 plus 15 60 means 1 hour and 15 minutes here how many hours we have 1 hour so that 1 hour we should take here 1 hour how many hours are there that many we should take here but in the minutes we should subtract 60 okay now subtract the here we should subtract and here we should add then 5 minus 0 5 7 minus 6 1 Fif here we should place 5 15 plus 1 16 16 hours 15 minutes 16 hours 15 minutes okay this is 16 hours 15 minutes is the answer okay now the second subtract each of the following so duration of the time here this is the addition part so this is the method to add here so subtraction how to subtract 2 hours 25 minutes from 6 hours 32 minutes we should subtract 6 hours 32 minutes from so first we should take here here hours here minutes then how to subtract first from from time that is 6 hours 32 minutes from this 2 hours 25 minutes we should subtract this we should subtract then how to subtract here 32 minutes is greater than 25 minutes so no need to borrow nothing so just you take 32 minus 25 here take borrow here 2 minutes you will get here 12 12 minus 5 is 7 2 minus 2 is 0 and after that in hours 6 minus 2 is 4 4 hours 7 minutes 4 hours 7 minutes the next one so 5 hours 30 minutes from 9 hours 25 minutes we should subtract so first take hours here here minutes that is 9 hours 9 hours 25 minutes and 5 hours 30 minutes so this we subtract okay now 25 minutes is smaller than 35 minutes if 25 minutes are smaller than the 30 minutes then we should take borrow from here 1 hour in 9 hours 1 hour we should take borrow in 9, 9 hours if you take 1 hour borrow then you left 8 hours then 1 hour means 60 minutes 60 minutes plus here 25 minutes 60 plus 25 85 minutes here you will get 85 minutes 85 minutes now 5 minus 0 5 8 minus 3 5 8 minus 5 3 3 hours 55 minutes 3 hours 55 minutes okay